Monoclea gotche is a gigantic tropical liverwort, which is what you see here. There's two problems with this liverwort right now. Number one, there's a bunch of ferns popping up, which I want to separate out into their own growing containers. And number two, the liverwort isn't growing as well as I'd like, so we're going to split it up and try some different conditions and find out what it prefers. First, we're going to take the fern, the ferns out. So I've got a X-Acto knife and tweezers. Hopefully I brought along enough of the roots that this thing will survive. It's a pretty sweet looking fern. Not sure what it is. It has interesting ribbed fronds. There's a fern too. I'm guessing this is going to be a very large species. It looks like the kind of thing that grows fast and gets really big. But I'll try it and see. Both ferns are in their own containers now, and so we can move these aside and deal with the liverwort. Okay, I've prepared three different substrates. One is pure sphagnum moss, two is an organic potting soil, and three is a custom mix that has a little bit of soil, and then it has some fluorite clay chips, and it has some clay powder uh, and stuff, and I basically mixed it together into kind of like a mud clay paste. Looks like I got some little isopods in here from when I dumped them in a long time ago. The little white bugs crawling around. I don't know if you can see it, but they're dwarf white isopods. And you can use them as a cleanup crew, as they are sometimes referred to. They just eat mold and decaying matter and help keep things clean. So I see a bunch of them running around now. They're like, what are you doing to me? Like, leave us alone. What did we ever do to you? Oh my goodness, there's a lot of isopods in there. There, uh, I, I wonder if they've been breeding in here. You should be able to see some movement. I'm going to take a little bit of this soil that has some isopods and put it into this one. You have a new home. Be free. Make a family. We will plant this. I'm going to put some broken up leaf litter around the edges here for the isopods. And then I'm also going to put some springtails in here as well to help control any mold that might want to pop up due to how wet and humid the conditions are. Springtail time. Oh my gosh, look at them. There's so many. There are like millions of them. Just a little bit in each. Alright, here we have sphagnum, soil, and clay. If you want to see which one of these performs best, subscribe and click the bell icon so you don't miss any notifications.